Boulder Nation, Steve Cook. We're at the Hotel Motel Holiday Inn. We're here coming at you, giving you a workout in a hotel. A lot of times people, people that I run into say, you know, what do you do when you're on the road? What do you do when you're traveling? I'm, I do so much business or, or you know, I, I'm here just to show you exactly how we roll. So today I also wanted to give you guys kind of a look at some history. Give you guys a history lesson in bodybuilding, if you will. Um, it's, it's probably not unknown to many of you that I love Steve Reeves. He's just, what he, what he stood for, his, ideal, his ideology, I think that's right, his, his ideal physique. You know, he looked at the Greek, Greek sculptors and had proportions and ratios of your arms should match your calves. And he just had a body that wasn't built just solely on mass. He didn't care just about getting bigger, 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 bigger. For him, it was a game about symmetry, size, shape, proportion, everything that went into, he was an artist. And he was an artist that developed that physique that was just amazing to me. And he also was all about health. He was an all natural guy. Um, he was a bodybuilder in the 50s that had it all. Good looks, he was a movie star, Mr. Universe. So Steve Reeves is someone that I look up to and try to emulate. With this men's physique category, it's perfect. If I feel like if Steve Reeves was around today, he would be a men's physique kind of, kind of guy. So with that being said, I kind of wanted to talk to you guys about a little bit of how he trained. I want to be highlighting a couple bodybuilders um, in the next couple weeks, showing you how they worked out, how they achieved their physiques. Steve Reeves, because he's my favorite, we're going to start talking with him today. And I figured no better setting than someone like the, the hotel because his workouts didn't, they were more based on training smarter, not always harder. He didn't need a ton of weights. He worked out in the 50s, the 40s, the 50s, where he didn't have all the high-tech gym equipment right now. Steve Reeves worked out three days a week. Three days a week. Right now, that would be crazy. So many people are in the gym six, seven days a week, but he believed you didn't need, your body needs time to recover. Now, I've never tried the three-day-a-week split. I'm just like you guys. I'm a little skeptic, but I do think it could work, especially to maintain. Um, but he, his outlook on training was really unique. He, he had an amazing physique, so I guess the proof's in the pudding. But what he did is he trained full body workouts three times a week. He would train Monday morning, Wednesday afternoon, and Saturday morning. So each time he'd give his body a day and a half to rest. Now he always did some form of cardio on those rest days, but he was only working out three days a week. Um, and in those full body workouts, there are some, some things he did to kind of depending on what kind of training style it was, he changed up. So if you're training strictly for strength, Steve Reeves recommends two to three reps doing five to six sets of each, each exercise. Also, Steve Reeves loved doing things in opposition. So if you do a set of bench press, then you do a set of back. So your opposing muscles, biceps, triceps, chest, back, hamstrings, quads. That way, one muscle is contracting while the other one's stretching. It's a great way, you know, Arnold did a lot of supersets in this fashion. It's a great way to get an amazing pump. Also, just keeps that physique nice and balanced. So, three days a week he worked out, full body workouts separated by a day and a half of rest, using opposite opposite uh, body parts to train back and forth. You know, his physique, I guess, you know, it speaks for itself. So today, we're in a, in a pretty much an average hotel gym here. Nothing special you're gonna see. We have a couple treadmills, we have couple benches, some dumbbells. Um, so I'm gonna kind of change things up a little bit to fit this criteria that we have here. But you know, you don't, for a lot of you out there who don't necessarily wanna be super big, you just wanna be lean, you wanna be toned. Um, you know, S Steve Reeves recommended doing things 10 to 12 sets, only 45 seconds in between. If, you're, if your goal is pure strength, two to three reps, and then take, you know, as much as four, four minutes in between those, those sets. So two to three reps, five to six sets, taking a lot of time in between, and that's gonna build maximal strength. If you're a little bit of both, you want some strength, some size, it's gonna be five to six reps, doing five to six sets of each thing, resting anywhere between you know two to three minutes. Um, and then like I said, if you're just going, going straight after size and, and, and getting, um, I guess, also staying lean somewhat, not really worrying about the strength, but mass, maximum size, eight to 10, and then a little bit more after that is going to be just, you're, you're there pretty much circuit training. Um, higher reps, lower, lower, uh, I guess lower rest time, more of a cardiovascular style workout. But a couple things, Steve Reeves always believed in doing super strict form. He was the guy, the tempo. Now we, a lot of times we talk about rest, 
rep tempo. Rep tempo is how fast you move the weights. Steve Reeves believed in moving the weights two seconds on the positive and three seconds on the negative. So you can really see that he stressed that negative. You're gonna be working all those different muscle fibers. Also, breathing out. Steve Reeves did a couple different things with the breathing. He would hold his breath until halfway and then breathe out and continue to breathe out on the negative. So he'd hold his breath and then do it all over again. So you can see he had a couple different styles of, of training and, and again, this might not work for you, but I want to give you guys all the information. Look at these great physiques that were, were given to us um, by past bodybuilders and, and you know, well, they might work for you. You got to figure that out. Um, also a couple things, he believes carbohydrates to him were a little bit more important than they are now, nowadays. At least 50 to sometimes 60% of your, your macro breakdown would be carbohydrates. Protein would be anywhere from 30 to 20, and then fats would also be 20. But uh, anyhow, we're gonna give this, this workout a, a go today. I wanted to do it in this hotel because you can see, you know, if you're on the road, if you're traveling, if you're on vacation, you might not have time to get to the gym every single day. You know, if your life's super busy, I, I want you to start developing habits, getting in good habits. And I've been there before that if I couldn't get a, a workout in one day, it followed over to the next day. And I said, because I didn't work out yesterday, I'm, I'm already slacking, I'm behind. I don't want you guys to get in that mindset. I want us to get in the habit of, of loving what we're doing, doing it because we love it and it's making us healthy. So this three day week workout is perfect for those busy bodies, the summertime that you might not be able to get to the gym every day, people that have kids, you're on the road traveling, you have a hotel. Let's get after it. We'll show you exactly what you can do in a small gym like this setting to develop one of the greatest physiques of all time. You can do the same exercises in something like this, something so simple that it is going to be um, beneficial to you. So I'm gonna really, I'm gonna show you exactly. Try to do, follow the Steve Reeves workout, follow his methods, his training. We're gonna do some power walking later on. He revolutionized and actually created power walking, a type of cardio that's a little bit easier on your joints. Um, and this is all the way back in the 50s. So this, he was long ahead of his time. And obviously his, uh, like I said before, his physique spoke for itself. So anyhow, we get started, do a little warm up, and then we're gonna jump into this full body routine brought to you by Steve Reeves and Steve Cook. Let's get after it. All right, guys, on the treadmill. You seated, military press, super set with a lot of words. Steve Reeves breathing words. Hold. to the side, I come a little bit back and then finish right above my head. So this is going to be working on our back thickness. thickness. We did our lat width. This is more back th thickness. Slow on the way out. I just said concentrated curl. If you only have the dumbbells, you should do for triceps, just a single tricep extension. And then for quads, one of two exercises, doing something like the front squat. If you want to work more of that vastus medialis, coming all the way down to parallel, squatting back up. On these, I like to wider than shoulder width. All the way down, all the way back up. The 
straight from calves. You can jump in. Any kind of exercise you can, you can find. Usually abs, probably one of the easier things to find if you have a, a ball, if you have a place to do knee ups, even just a flat surface you can do your crunches with. We all have those seven body parts, so it's your job to bring them up. And the only thing that's stopping you is you're being negative. You have to have a proactive, a proactive attitude about training. That, you know, no matter what, no excuses, you're gonna go in and get the job done. Whether it's your calves, whether it's your upper chest, you have to visualize, you have to obsess about that body part, you have to go in and you have to train it every day if need be. You know, you have to be just willing to do whatever it takes. Anyhow, Steve Cook, Holiday Inn, the Holiday Inn workout, the Steve Reeves workout, circuit training, whatever you wanna call it, getting right, getting tight, healthier, sappier. Swolger Nation, I'm out.